Hey guys, it's Arkovica here. I know this isn't anything that I've been doing lately. This isn't Rebel Galaxy, this isn't Stardew Valley, and this isn't even um, Resident Evil 7. If you could not hear, I am horrifically congested. I am I'm talking like, I sound like a nerd, like a stereotypical nerd from like olden days on TV. Hey everybody, it's the nerd here. That's what I sound like right now. I'm that congested and I do not look pretty. I tried to record Rebel Galaxy with my face and it was the most atrocious thing on the planet. So we're gonna record this game, which other YouTubers have been playing. It's called Kindergarten. It's, as you can see from the screen, early access. This is what the game opened up to. There isn't even a menu screen. It just literally opens to this, which I'm fine with. From what I know, the game is always Monday and you have to figure out the stories going on in the school. For those of you who are like, what, you're gonna play a kindergarten game? It really isn't that kind of game. It is the kind of game where people get shot in the face and you're at a kindergarten school and there's crazy, crazy, crazy stuff happening. All right, so press space bar or left mouse click to interact with people and objects. Press return or enter to use an action to pick up 25 cents. That's very specific. Press backward slash to open your platter. Press escape to pause. Controls can be configured from the menu. The apples at the bottom right of the screen indicate how many actions you have left in a given area. Interesting. Complete a character's missions to unlock their special item that you can use repeatedly. Check the hits section of the pause menu if you get stuck. Each day res resets to its previous state. Only money and unlocked items carry over between days. Interesting. Alright, so I've chucked my mouse off the side of the screen. My piggy bank has five dollars. Press down to take money. Press up to put money back. We're gonna leave it alone. Uh, all right. Well, we have nothing else, so just as well. Cut that. That poster kind of looks like it could be the Star Wars poster for I think Episode Seven. But I could be wrong. That is a giant eraser bed. All right, we're this cute, adorable little kid. Am I ready to start another day of kindergarten? Yes. Yes, you are a small child. Hi there! Screw off, kid! I'm busy! Alright, I guess I'll screw off. Jerk. What about you? Hi, my friends call me Nugget. Or they would if I had any. Nugget knows no love or friendship since Billy went missing. What? What happened to Billy? Billy is missing. Poor Nugget misses Billy. But Nugget cannot help him now. It is too late. Do you know where he is? Nugget does not know. Nugget knows who knows. Who knows? Your question upset poor Nugget. You push too hard. Nugget needs his pills. Ooh. Much better. What were we talking about, Billy? Who? I don't know what you're talking about. You're speaking normally now? Whoa, what's in those pills? <laughs> I don't know. The principal gave them to me after I saw something traumatic. Or something. They're great. The principal gave you pills? You don't remember the trauma. The principal gave you pills. Yup. Is that legal? Probably not. You don't find that suspicious? I do, but he said that's a side effect of the pills. Of course. You want one? Sure. There you go. Enjoy that pill. Take it if you start thinking about Billy too much. No more talking now. Shoot. Okay. Well, that's already pretty suspicious. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Wanna be my boyfriend? Uh... Sure. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. And we'll totally be the cutest couple at school. But first, you have to do something for me. <laughs> Isn't our love enough? Like what? You see that girl over there? That's Lily. She's by far the ugliest, nastiest girl you will ever meet. I want you to take this gum and stick it in her hair during morning time. Got it? Sure. I don't see how this could go wrong. Oh, yay! This is going to be so great. She'll finally get what she deserves, just like her brother did for dumping me. Come find me for morning time after you're after you've done it. What happened to her brother? You haven't heard? He went missing. His disappearance totally stole the thunder from my dog, Biscuit, going missing. I guess everyone just cares more about him than they do about me. Your dog went missing too? Yeah, I brought her in for show and tell, but the janitor said dogs aren't allowed, so he took her. Apparently she escaped from his closet. They couldn't find her. Maybe I could find your dog instead? <sighs> Interesting proposal. I do miss Biscuit. The question is, do I love Biscuit more than I hate Lily? You love Biscuit more. Um, no. I definitely hate Lily more. Oh. 
Yeah, Lily is actually a despicable person. Her, her existence bothers me. Don't worry about Biscuit. Just put that gum in her hair during morning time and come talk to me afterward. Okay. Wow, well I tried. Hey, random kid. Hi, Marty. If you need I'm not gonna remember any of these voices, I'm sorry. If you need something, come talk to me. Odds are I can get it for you for the right price. What I need and what I sell changes throughout the day. So come see me more often. I wanna buy something, I don't want anything. We're not gonna do anything right now. That teacher uh, is vivacious. Yep, that's the word I'm gonna use. A drone. I don't think you're cool enough to talk to me. Whatever, jerk. <laughs> hey, Lily. Oh, um, hey, I'm Lily. You've probably heard about what happened to my brother Billy. I haven't. You haven't? It's been all over the news. You went missing a few days ago. Sorry to hear that. Thanks, that makes you one of the few people that even seems to care. Ever since he went missing, people either ignore me or insult me. Cindy has been trying to put gum in my hair. Yeah, I know. She gave this to you? Wow, she can't even do her own dirty work. Ugly enough without having gum in my hair, so thanks for not doing it. You're not ugly. Oh, thanks. I guess Cindy has been getting to me lately. I appreciate the compliment. You're nice. You're welcome. I'm not really looking to be friends right now, but I do trust you for whatever that's worth. I'll see you around. Uh, sorry, Cindy. I didn't do the thing. How you do it there, Sonny? Don't buy the old janitor here. Just sweeping up after you silly cretins. Sweepy, sweepy, sweepy. That's a mop. Ah, uh, so it is. You're also mopping the sidewalk. I'll be mopping your blood off it if you don't skedaddle. I'm gonna skedaddle. <laughs> Okay, this game is definitely mega weird. Let's talk to a uh, vivacious lady over here. Oh, Miss Applegate, I have been well endowed <laughs> with excellent teaching qualities. You sure have. Can I go inside? Probably have to go talk to creepy kid over here. This is gonna be so great. Can't wait to see the look on her stupid ugly face. Me neither. Screw off, kid. I'm busy. Alright, I screw off. Well, there's apparently more that we can do around here. Do you have anything else to say, Lily? I'm not really looking... Oh, yeah, whatever. Alright, what about you, vivacious teacher? Nope, you have nothing else to say. Man of my word, you're gonna kill... Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's withdraw some cash, some cashola. We'll have to make it back. We're just gonna withdraw all five dollars and hope for the best. Am I ready to start another day of kindergarten? Yes. I smell money. Huh. Yeah. Someone is definitely carrying more than three dollars around here. Hey, kid. You carrying any cash? Nope. Don't lie to me. I know you smell money. Give me half, or else! No way! Look, kid, I don't have time to argue this with you. Give me half, or you're dead meat. Go make your own money. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, did I just die? Uh-oh. Oh! oh. Alright. So, either bring less money to school, or give half to... Alright, let's return home. Alright, guys, we need to bring less than three dollars to school. We're, ma we're making it, sort of, alright? Oh, here we go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and skip through this. So I figured out what we kind of have to do, and I've also decided we're gonna stick the gum in Lily's hair for no appropriate reason. As you can see, I have the gum and I have the pill. So we're gonna skip through. I figured out how to skip. It's not the controls. Okay, okay, children, it's time to start the day. I have already forgotten her voice. Everyone in head inside for morning time. Go inside. Good morning, children. It's time for you to pick out your buddies for morning time, or you can be sad, pathetic, and alone, as long as you're the best you you can be. Alright, let's go stick gum in Lily's hair. Oh, I don't want to do the whole morning buddy thing anymore. My brother Billy was normally my buddy, but he's gone. Did you just- Oh, you did. You put gum in my hair. That's so mean. Cindy didn't put you up to this, didn't she? Well, I don't even care. Leave me alone. 
Oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> did you do it? Oh my gosh, you totally did. Wow, what happened? What did she say? Did she cry? I bet she cried. She cried. <laughs> Freaking Alexa. Uh, yes, I'm so happy. Now you can be my morning buddy, which also means you be makes you my boyfriend. As my boyfriend, you get the honor of playing house with me. I'll meet you over the dollhouse. I'll be home soon, honey. <laughs> All right, Sydney, let's play house. Welcome home, husband. I hope work wasn't too hard, because you're going to be making dinner tonight. Yes, dear. And after that, I need you to... Have you been drinking again? No, honey, I'm just tired. Oh, sure you are. You're always so tired. I'm sure you won't mind blowing into this, then. Is that a breathalyzer? You bet it is. If you blow so much as a 0 0.01, I'm calling your sponsor. I'll take the test. Good. Blow. 0 0.32? You're trashed right now. How could you do this to me? You said you would get sober. You can't be a father when you can't even take care of yourself. Be a father? I... Well, while you were in prison, it... It's probably not yours. I'm sorry. I guess I have my own set of problems to deal with. You cheated on me. We can work through this. You think so? Yes, I do. Wow, alcoholism aside, you really are a great guy. So, what should we do about the baby? Oh my god, we could say abort it, jeez. Keep it. That's so wonderful that you would do that. Thank you. No problem. Wow, that was the most fun I've had playing house in a while. You're gonna make a splendid boyfriend. I want you to have lunch with me. Okay. Great, I'll see you then. Uh, as long as I don't actually have to become an alcoholist, a al alcohol addicted person later. Nugget does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. What are you busy with? You are curious about the ways of Nugget. Interesting. Perhaps you could be of some use to Nugget. Perhaps. Nugget is in need of a magnifying glass. Do this for Nugget before the next bell rings and you will be rewarded. Okay, I guess. Hey! Don't go snooping around in other people's cubbies! Why the hell do you think I would want to be your morning buddy? Good point. Hey, Jerome. Dude, you're, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monty's gonna hook me up with a sweet yo-yo. Whatever, jerk. Should have bought the yo-yo. What? You wanna be my morning buddy? I ain't got time for that nonsense, so unless you're buying or selling something, get lost. You wanna buy something? Here's what's for sale. Let's buy the yo-yo. Pleasure doing business with you. Alright, hey, Jerome, check it out. You mean this yo-yo? Aw, oh, come on! He told me he was gonna save that for me. You can have it if you'll be my buddy. <laughs> Thanks, chump. I guess you haven't learned how to tell time yet. Morning time is pretty much over. Uh. Wow. What a jerk. Go find a morning buddy! Nugget gave me a pill. Okay, I'm not gonna give him a pill. <laughs> Don't go snooping around in other people's company. Where's my company? So, that must be Nuggets. Who's this the knife? There are one, two, three, four, five, six kids. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. I am a sad, sad child. Oh, no, no, no. You can't just leave class without a pass. Okay, can I use the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? May I use the bathroom? Of course, now that you've asked correctly. Here's the bathroom pass. Gee, thanks. Just be back soon. Sure. Whatever you say. Hey, man, you heard the bell. Go on back to your class. Get back to class. But I have a pass. Oh, you're back. I had to go to the bathroom. Right on time for lunch. Let's head down to the cafeteria, children. Go to lunch. I have a breathalyzer. Wee. Hi there. You know we're cool enough to sit with us. Get lost. I didn't want to sit with you anyway. Jerk. Hey, but I can sit with Cindy. Oh, hey, boyfriend. I saved you a spot. Go get something to eat and come sit with me. Okay. Um. Biscuits. Biscuit balls. Get your biscuit balls. Here, get them while they're hot. Biscuit balls? My old recipe. Came up with it after a little incident that happened recently. Oh, uh, what's in them? Whatever's in a biscuit, the little something extra. It's the extra part that worries me. Oh, come on, try it. It won't kill ya. How much are they? They're a buck a piece. Quite a deal, if I say so myself. I'm sure your little friend Sydney would 
love to try one. Okay, I'll take one. There you go, buddy boy. Now give that to that city girl. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm concerned. How you doing there, sonny? Wanna try some tasty, nutritious slop for lunch? Yes. I'll have it. There you go, buddy boy. And don't be shy about coming back for seconds. Plenty of slop to go around. Thank you. Really, I, I greatly appreciate the presence of your slop. Hey, Cindy. Oh, hey, boyfriend. I saved you a spot. I have slop. I have this thing. Eat biscuit bowl. I'm supposed to give it to her, though. I have slop. Oh, good. I was just thinking about... Oh, darn it. My stupid mother packed me something that's not vegan. She knows I'm all vegan right now. God, that woman is insufferable. Ugh. Oh, sweetie, would you be a darling and go get me something vegan? Something vegan? Yeah, you know, um, like, I don't know exactly what it means, but I know it's good. So just go ask around if you can find something vegan. Oh, and the slop isn't vegan. <laughs> I have this thing. That's vegan? Are you sure? Probably. Um, uh, okay, I trust you. Much, much. Hey, that's pretty good. Kind of reminds me of my dog in a weird way. Oh. Uh... Thank you so much for getting this for me. No problem. You're being so good to me today. You're probably the most well-trained boy I've ever met. I should get, I should use you for something at recess. Huh, I have an idea. Uh-oh. I'm really liking the way Will Lily wears that gum, but maybe we should put something else in there. What do you mean? Jerome was telling me how the janitor has all sorts of gross stuff in his closet. I'm thinking we find something to give to Lily. Do we keep it a secret? Oh, you don't have to worry about that. I don't remember what she said. You have the key? Yep. A girl has her ways. I'm going to head over and pay off the lunch lady so we can get going on down to that nasty closet. What about the hall monitor? Well, that's silly boy. He'll be in the bathroom having a cigarette. Just don't go in there and he'll be fine. Okay. Lunch is almost over, so listen for the bell while you're in there. The janitor will come back shortly after it rings, so get out as soon as possible. Let's do this. Oh, God. She paid off the lunch lady. You're good to go. Hurry back. Ah, oh, what have we got ourselves into? Oh, God. I'm sorry I did Cindy's... Hey, can I get in there? I can't see anything, but I need something to unscrew it with. Well, I can afford a screwdriver. Uh, where is that kid? Here he is. I want to buy something. Uh, oh, never mind. Gosh, rude. Oh, man, we fed her her dog! I feel bad. All right, well, now we know. Next time, we gotta get... Oh, we can't go into the bathroom. That's where the hall monitor is. Excuse me, that's where the hall monitor is. This is the door to the classroom. It's locked during lunch. Oh. All right, well, we tried. Let's try this one. This is the door to the janitor's closet. Unlock it. Um. Huh. Huh. Interesting. There's a lot of blood in here. A lot of blood. Oh, we're gonna run out of stuff. Okay, hang on. Take the note. Take the monster bond card. Take the money. We only have two abilities left, and then we're gonna run out of time. Don't do anything. What are we looking for? Oh yeah, something to put in her hair. It's a bucket that's catching the blood from that... New hint a lot. Oh, no, we gotta go back. Go back to the cafeteria. We're gonna get caught in here. Oh, I don't wanna risk it. I don't wanna risk it. I don't wanna risk it. Oh, we gotta head to the classroom. Oh my god, we're gonna dump blood on Lily. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, I don't wanna dump blood on Lily's head. Oh, this is bad. Oh, did the slop give me the runs? Sorry about that. Hope it worked itself out. All the other kids are out at recess now. Go run along. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, uh, boy. All right, let's go talk to uh, Cindy. Well, what did you get? This, this bucket filled with blood. Oh, my God. It's perfect. That is so disgusting. Whose blood is it? Everybody don't want to know. Me neither. You're the best. Climb up here and I'll call her over. I'm going to get in position. Oh, this is the worst. I feel so bad. Hey, Lily, come over here. I want to show you something. Why can't you just leave me alone, Cindy? 
I'm so sick of you harassing me. I'm not gonna harass you. We can be friends. Just come over here. Fine. What is it? Oh, God. <gasps> oh, God. Why did you just... Oh, you and your awful boyfriend set me up again. I'm so done with this. You've made me miserable for so long. Oh, come on. I think it's an improvement. You're just so mean. I can't take it anymore. Uh-oh. Goodbye, cruel world. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. That hole is deep. Do you think she, she died? Never mind. I don't care. You should come down from there. I cannot believe we just did that. That was so great. You've made me so happy today. I want you to take this flower. It's pretty like me. This way you'll always have a little piece of me with you. Oh dear. Has anyone seen Lily? I can't see her anywhere. Nugget saw where the girl went. Nugget knows. Shut up, Nugget. You didn't see anything. Nugget, I swear to whatever god your messed up family believes in. If Lily fell down that hole you dug in, I'm pushing you in after her. Nugget will not give the teacher the satisfaction. Teacher will never take Nugget alive. Dear God, Nugget jumped into the hole. Wow, that hole is deep. I can't even see the bottom. We're going to have to get the janitor out here with the ladder to get them out. Oh, Mr. Janitor! I'm coming, I'm coming. What seems to be the problem? There, Miss Jiggly <laughs> It's Applegate, and I have two of my students stuck at the bottom of this hole. Do you want me to put the rest of them in the hole? No, oh, I want you to get the ones that are in the hole out of the hole. Can you do that? Oh, well, that's less fun, but I guess I can do that. It might take a while, though. Might be best if you brought the ones that aren't in the hole back inside so I don't get confused. Very well. Okay, children, we're gonna cut recess a little short today. Let's head inside for show and tell. I have lots for show and tell. I hope everybody had a good recess. Let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you bring? I brought a flower. A flower? That's pretty boring. What's that even to tell about? It's not boring. I gave him that because he's been a good boyfriend all day. No, it's definitely wimpy. I'm probably gonna give his kick his butt for being so whipped. Don't you dare, Bugs! No one is allowed to kick my boyfriend's butt except me! We'll see about that. Uh-oh, am I about to die? Wow. Thanks, Cindy. Oh my god! Miss Applegate, stop him! I would. But damn if I don't love a good kitty fight. He's about to kill me. This school is seriously messed up. Don't show the flower if you're gonna get beat up for it. Alright, let's restart the room and see what we get out of it. I hope everyone had a good recess. Let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you bring? We could do the pill or the breathalyzer. Let's do the breathalyzer. Oh my! Why on earth would you have something like this? Your parents need to be more responsible. You shouldn't have to use one of these until you're at least 16. Who's next? Hopefully someone who doesn't need their BAC checked on the regular. <laughs> oh my. Well, children, that was a little, a, a fun little show and tell. Oh, there's the bell! I hope you all had a fun day today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Well, that was... something. <laughs> How dare you! What? Really? You have the gall to stand there as if you have no idea what you did wrong back there? I honestly have no idea. The flower! My special flower! The one I gave to you for being the best boyfriend I ever had. What about it? You didn't show it during show and tell! If it means that little to you, I'm just gonna take it back. We're through. Goodbye. Bye? <laughs> Alright. Show the flower. Die. Don't show the flower. Break up with your girlfriend. Continue. Well, we ended Monday with less money than we started it with. And frankly, I think that is definitely not an improvement. So I'll see you guys next time if you want to see me try to do more of these storylines. Because good god, that was brutal doing Cindy's storyline. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!